Welcome to another training session. So first of all, we will have to create the groups. So to create the groups, we'll double click there. We can create three groups. We can put any name for these groups. We can put here one, two, three. For the group one, it will be administrators and group two is for supervisors and uh, group three for operators. Now for these groups, we have to create some group authorization levels. Like for the group one, we can add here level one, level two, and level three. So the users included in the group one can access all three levels. For the group two, we can assign it only level 2 and level 3. For the group 3, it is for operators. The operators can only access the level 3 authorization. Now we have created groups and assign it the group authorizations. Next, we have to create the users. For the users, we'll double click here and by default, the admin is created. So we will create its password. We can assign it any password. Now the admin is a part of group one. Next we have to create supervisor. Okay, the supervisor is a part of group two. We can assign it password. Next will be our operator. For the operator, we will create another password. Okay, admin is group one. Supervisor is a part of group two. And a writer is a part of group 3. So if we come to the group 3, in the group 3 group, he can only access level 3 authorization. Okay, now our users are created. We'll go to the start screen. First of all, we will drag and drop 3 IU fields. And for these 3 IU fields, we will assign the tags. Okay, next we want to create some buttons to log in and log off the users. We'll drag and drop button here in the events menu when we click this button it should show the login dialog okay show logon dialog just copy paste this button here again and this time we will write log off and when we click this button it should log off uh, we have to show which user is either it is admin operator or supervisor. So to show this one, for this one we will drag and drop a IO field here, and we can select the data type as string, and the string.